Thomas speaking, flashing to you the news of the world, pictured by Fox Movie Talk. Lowell Thomas has often been called the greatest journalist the world has ever known. With an estimated worldwide audience of 125 billion, for five decades, his voice was the most recognized and most listened to in the world. He was the first reporter ever to originate broadcasts from the field, and he did it from virtually every corner of the globe. News reporting may have been his job, but travel reporting was his obsession. Through travel logs, radio and TV, magazine articles, and more than 50 books, he exposed millions to exotic sights, sounds, and experiences they would have never known but for Lowell Thomas. It's the compelling legacy of Lowell Thomas that serves as the standard of excellence for the SATW Foundation's Lowell Thomas Travel Journalism Awards. From more than 1,200 entries, Judges from the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill School of Journalism and Mass Communications have selected the 2013 winners. First, in the category of Best Travel App, winning bronze is SoCal Close-Ups from the Los Angeles Times. Christopher Reynolds, travel reporter, and SATW member Catherine Hamm, travel editor. Taking silver is the iPad app, Travel by Handstand, from creator Peter Landau. And the top travel app is Voter City Guides for both iOS and Windows phone platforms. Arabella Bowen, Executive Director. This app is everything you would expect from a voter's guidebook in a great interactive experience. With great photos and well-written descriptions, it prompts visit daydreams for a perfect trip with location-specific information guaranteed to enhance the in-person experience. In the category of Best Travel Blog, the Bronze Award goes to AuthenticLuxuryTravel.net and SATW member Elizabeth Hansen. The silver winner, ChangesInLongitude.com and SATW member Larissa Milney and Michael Milney. Gold in the category goes to PerceptiveTravel.com slash blog, Tim Leffel, editor with writing that is at times flowery, textural, and luxurious, and at times straightforward and journalistic. The perceptive travel blog plays many notes well, arranging crisp stories, compelling photos, useful travel tips, and reader engagement into a siren song that will have readers longing to go out and explore the world. For best online travel journalism site, Bronze is FathomAway.com. Pavia Rosati, founder, CEO, and Gerilyn Gerba, editorial director. Silver is presented to Afar.com. Davina Baum, digital content director. The gold-winning travel journalism site is RoadsAndKingdoms.com. Nathan Thornburg and Matt Golding, co-founders. Roads and Kingdoms is a must bookmark site for anyone interested in the things that make this world both complicated and worth discovering. By sharing words and pictures about topics most traditional travel sites miss, the site reminds readers that most world travel is not confined strictly to all-inclusive manicured paradises, but is instead full of character. Winning Bronze for Best Travel Guidebook is a Traveler's Wine Guide to California by SATW member Robert Holmes for Interlink Books. Silver belongs to Lobster Shack by Mike Urban for the Countryman Press. And the Best Travel Guidebook is The New York Grimpendium by J.W. Ocker, also for Countryman Press. The Grimpendium is a wryly humorous mix of macabre historical facts and descriptions focusing on the darker side of New York. It's full of detailed instructions on how to get there and what you'll see, in addition to some rather ghostly black and white photos. For Best Travel Book, Bronze goes to Europe on five wrong turns a day, one man, eight countries, one vintage travel guide by Doug Mack, published by the Perigee Penguin Group. The silver winner is The Lonely Planet Book of Everything, a visual guide to travel and the world by Nigel Holmes for Lonely Planet Publications. Winning gold as the best travel book is The Longest Way Home, One Man's Quest for the Courage to Settle Down, written by SATW member Andrew McCarthy from Free Press, Simon & Schuster. Andrew's search for self-understanding takes the reader to both exotic and familiar locales. But the most fascinating journey is the one inside the author's head. He takes the reader on a poignant and fascinating journey, which might be considered a book about every man. That is an examination of the male psyche, complete with all of its warts, inconsistencies, and mystery. 
In the category of Best Short Travel Article, the bronze winner is Starry-Eyed in Chile's Atacama Desert, written by Anne Hamudic for BBC Travel. Silver goes to Common Ground by Gregory Dykum in Afar. And the top short travel article is Mama Knows Best by David Farley, also in Afar. David reveals much about Italy and the Italians in his story about Bolognese ragu. That's right, Bolognese ragu. It looks, he cautions, like such a simple dish on the plate. But there are so many small details over which the cook must watch. This is a story told lightheartedly and with great joy. In the competition for Best Special Purpose Travel Story, the bronze winner is Courage and Legacy by SATW member Catherine Ham for the Los Angeles Times. The silver winner is My Day with Ilya by Patrick Brady in Peloton Magazine. And winning gold, Escape to the South Seas. The second gold award in this competition for SATW member Andrew McCarthy. This in Travel and Leisure. If you've ever had the fantasy of tossing the smartphone, canceling the internet, and unplugging yourself from the digital grid, this article will speak to you. Andrew makes it all possible, finding remote and beautiful South Sea islands in which to do so. More than a story about a vacation or holiday, Andrew epitomizes the personal journey concept of travel and a destination both on the globe and within oneself. For best personal comment, bronze goes to Summerland by Peter John Lindbergh in Travel and Leisure. The silver winner is How Oxford Takes Its Lemonade by Beth Ann Finnelly in Southern Living. Taking Gold, Video Games with a Refugee by Sean McLaughlin in Gatling.com. In an extraordinarily touching piece, the author recounts a hotel lobby visit in Iraq with a nine-year-old Syrian refugee. The young boy's school iPad has this horrific video of bodies in the aftermath of a Syrian civilian slaughter. What he wants on the device is games. In one short piece, Sean delivers the pathos of the Syrian conflict with the innocence and joy of a child. In the category of Best Cultural Tourism Article, winning bronze is The Jews of Berlin by Eugene L. Meyer in B'nai B'rith Magazine. The silver winner is Water Shapes Their World by Stephen Huser in the Boston Globe. And the top cultural tourism article is Silk from Ashes by Laurie McGandish King in Travel Stories from Around the Globe. In a wonderful story of human endurance and perseverance in Croatia, Laura presents her heroine, introducing the culture and the age-old technique of harvesting silk from silkworms. For Best Environmental Tourism Article, the Bronze Award winner is The Maldives, Heaven Can't Wait, by Akil Shama in Food and Wine. Taking Silver, Sound Off by Aaron Teasdale in Sierra Magazine. And gold in the category goes to Sacred Water by Kevin Grange in National Parks Magazine. With colorful language and detail, Kevin's story documents the drama of the fight to protect the waters of Nevada's Great Basin. He earns gold for a story that creates interest, anxiety, and anger. As locals fight a proposed pipeline to take billions of gallons of Great Basin water south to sprawling Las Vegas. In the category of Best Service-Oriented Consumer Article, winning bronze is Inheriting Travel, Trusts Can Fund Trips for Heirs by Karen Schwartz for the Associated Press. Silver's winner is Budget Travel, How to Travel to Cuba by Julie Showertert Collazo for Fox News Latino Online. Winning gold, cheapest airfare might be on airline's own website by Scott Mayerwitz for the Associated Press. It's a topic everyone is interested in, how to buy cheap airline tickets. And Scott offers advice you don't see every day. He backs it up with advice from the experts and specific examples from all the major airlines. For best travel news investigative reporting, the bronze winner is From the Start. Dreamliner Jet Program was rushed. Also from Scott Mayorowitz for the Associated Press. Taking silver, The Two Frequent Flyers by Ken Bensinger in the Los Angeles Times. And the top News Investigative Reporting Award winner is Take a Number by Grayson Schaefer in Outside. From a perch in the Mount Everest base camp, Grayson covers the deaths of 10 people in the spring 2012 climbing season. 
asking tough questions about the qualifications and efforts of certain outfitting companies. His findings should bring great pause to the world's climbers and to the Nepalese government about the safety of Everest expeditions. For best adventure travel article, bronze is awarded to The Long Way Home by Bill Donahue in Backpacker. The silver award winner is One Step by SATW member David Noyes in Travel Magazine for the iPad. And the gold-winning adventure travel article is It Means Peace by Mark Jenkins in Bicycling. In a touching, educational, and intriguing article, Mark retraces half of what once was the most famous bicycle path in the world, the Ho Chi Minh Trail. It was the route used by North Vietnam to resupply its forces in the South, and it happened largely by bicycle. As Mark bikes the trail, he meets locals along the way who now smile at Americans, but once were terrified of the bombs American aircraft dropped on the trail. For coverage of cruise travel, the Bronze Award winner is Mesmerizing Mekong by SATW member Sky May Ring in Travel Age West. Winning Silver, Where Time Stood Still by SATW member Elaine Glusak in Private Clubs Magazine. And the Gold Award winner for cruise travel is La Dolce Amore, More Amore by SATW member Toby Saltzman in Cruise and Travel Lifestyles. Toby knows how to warm the embers of soulmates as she chronicles her 45th wedding anniversary on a memorable Adriatic cruise. With incredibly visual writing, she captivates the reader from the outset. Exquisite meals, lasting relationships, and the changing stoic beauty of the Grand Canal of Venice are all part and parcel of a superb and very romantic travel saga. The Best Special Package or Project Bronze Award is presented to Mission Space in Westways, SATW member Elizabeth Harriman, Travel Editor. The Silver Award goes to Travelers of the Year in National Geographic Traveler Multimedia, George W. Stone, Editor-at-Large. The gold in the category goes to Air Canada's 75th Anniversary in Inroot Magazine, Book and Website. Ilana Weitzman, Editor-in-Chief. Dozens of stories, photos, and vintage video clips uncover hidden gems in a behind-the-scenes look at not only a long-lived world carrier, but also the evolution and growth of the industry itself. The writing is engaging, and the archival footage is captivating, with looks back at everything from types of aircraft to flight attendants attire. The package sets a high bar for any organization hoping to commemorate an anniversary in grand style. For the best photo illustration of a travel article, the Bronze Award is Photo Essay, Haida Gwaii by photographer and SATW member Gary Arndt for EverythingEverywhere.com. Taking Silver, A Lone Star Story by photographer Lucas Faglia in Afar. The gold in the category belongs to My Scottish Obsession by photographer Jim Richardson in National Geographic Traveler. The beautiful opening portrait not only gives the reader a sense of place, but also shares insight into the people through the subtle moment. There is a consistent tonal quality throughout the work, and the images provide accurate and visually appealing illustrations to specific points in the article, making it a valuable partnership of media. For the best article in foreign travel, winning bronze is Blaze Your Own Trail, Tuscany, by Melinda Page in Arthur Fromer's Budget Travel. The Silver Award winning article is The Crossing in Nowhere Digital Magazine, where Frank Perez traces mankind's first crossing of the Red Sea, leaving Africa for the first time some 60,000 years ago. And winning gold in the category, Fear and Loving in Tel Aviv and Beirut by Guy Martin in Departures. The story of two cities, only 134 miles apart, sharing a rich cultural and historical heritage, but bound by great difficulties with mutual suspicion and opposing influences from their separate allies. Next, the winners for Best Article on U.S. and Canadian Travel. The Bronze Award winner, The Fallout, Cold War Tourist Attractions by Frank Perez for The Washington Post Magazine. This is Frank's second award in this competition. The silver winner is In Search of Kodiak Moments by John Flynn in the San Francisco Chronicle. And gold in the category belongs to Radio Days by Bruce Schoenfeld in National Geographic Traveler. 
In this piece, the author follows an internet radio signal and discovers the small Kentucky community of Whitesburg and its cast of offbeat characters. He describes an isolated community, affected little by the outside world, but one that influences that outside world through an internet radio outlet that has listeners across the globe. This is Mountain News and World Report, WMMT's weekly sojourn into life in central Appalachia. Items of interest to us all and shining moments in our living history. In the category of Best Audio Travel Broadcast, the Bronze Award goes to Land Without Limits, the Caribou Chicotin Coast Region of British Columbia, from SATW member Joseph Rosindo and Julie Rosindo on the Travel Scope Radio Network and Podcast. Winning Silver, King Biscuit Blues Festival with SATW member Thomas C. Wilmer for National Public Radio KCBX in San Luis Obispo, California. The gold winning audio goes to SATW member Rick Steves for Travel with Rick Steves, Mother's Day, Sweet Home Croatia, and American Mother in Paris. Tim Tatton, executive producer on public radio stations and podcasts. This is a compilation of several beautifully told and heartwarming stories, intricately woven together with a narrative in such a way that there is an emotional connection between the subject and the listener. Jennifer Wilson is our guest right now on Travel with Rick Steves. She wrote Running Away to Home, our family's journey to Croatia in search of who we are, where we came from, and what really matters. The neighbors had a cow on the first floor of their house, and the gathering space was sort of the cafe bar in the middle of town. That and some special tributes to our mothers on Travel with Rick Steves. For the best video travel broadcast, Taking Bronze is the 92nd Insider Series. From TravelAndLeisure.com, Pam Abbott, Vice President for Digital Operations and Creative Services. The silver-winning telecast is Northern Ethiopia, Ancient History and Spiritual Present on the video version of Travelscope with SATW member Joseph Rosindo and Julie Rosindo on American Public Television and KQED in San Francisco. And taking gold with the best video travel broadcast for an unprecedented fifth year in a row is SATW member Richard Bangs. This year, on his new series, Richard Bang's Quest, Richard traces the contours of wonder on South America, Quest for Wonder, as seen on American public television. This telecast takes viewers on a journey to the most amazing and beautiful locations in South America. Join me as I explore the contours of wonder on a journey across South America. From the magnificent displays of grand nature, to the riddles that ripple through time. If there is a geography of wonder, it is South America. For the best travel coverage in magazines that are not specifically travel-oriented, the Bronze Award winner is Southern Living. Rachel Hardage Barrett, Executive Editor. Winning Silver? Outside, Christopher Keyes, editor. Taking the Gold Award, Midwest Living. SATW member, Kendra L. Williams, senior travel editor. The use of color in Midwest Living is exceptional. Destinations are well explored by photos and the written word. Each issue provides an interesting read, showing the hidden treasures of chosen destinations, travel ideas, and lots of tips to help readers discover new adventures. For the best travel magazine, the Bronze Award goes to Afar, Julia Cosgrove, Editor-in-Chief. Silver is awarded to Travel and Leisure, Nancy Novograd, Editor-in-Chief. And taking gold in the category as best travel magazine is Virtuoso Life, Elaine Sertka, Editorial Director. From cover to cover, Virtuoso Life is packed with treats for its readers. Issues feature travel gear that will tempt the most hesitant shopper and travel tips throughout that will prove useful to any tourist. Useful maps, icons, and graphics make the magazine pleasant and helpful to read. On now to the awards for best newspaper travel sections. First, for the newspapers with circulation less than 350,000, the bronze award winning section is The Record of Northern New Jersey, Mark Schwartz, travel editor. The silver winning section is The San Francisco Chronicle, 
SATW member Spud Hilton, travel editor. And gold goes to the Boston Globe and Fitzgerald, travel editor. The Globe is blessed with more space than many competitors, but every page is well filled. Theme covers are followed by two pages of quick hit features, here, there, and everywhere, the tip and the list. Many Bostonians probably turned first to the New England section with its special features. This section is a gem every week. For newspapers with a circulation of 350,000 or more, the Bronze Award goes to the Dallas Morning News. Kathy Barber, Features Editor. The Silver Award winning travel section is the Minneapolis Star Tribune. Carrie Westenberg, Travel Editor. Winning gold in the category, the Los Angeles Times. SATW member Katherine Ham, Travel Editor. The Times takes travel packaging to a new level with tons of helpful features, listings of tour offers, airfares, letters and tips from readers, and more. Catherine's on-the-spot column offers perhaps the ultimate in audience-friendly features, helping readers solve their travel dilemmas. And now, here are the 2013 winners selected by the judges in the competition for the Grand Award. Travel Journalist of the Year. In a very tough and competitive category, there are two honorable mention awards. SATW member Jill Schensel, senior writer for the record of Northern New Jersey. And SATW member Ellen Krager, travel writer for the Detroit Free Press. The Bronze Award winner in the Grand Award category is Carrie Westenberg, travel editor for the Minneapolis Star Tribune. With compelling leads and sound storytelling, Carrie takes her readers on rare journeys every week, visiting natural wonders in Minnesota, seeing the Mississippi from the slow-moving American Queen Riverboat, and so much more. Winning silver, Genevieve Shaw Brown, travel and lifestyle editor for ABC News. From special purpose travel to investigative reporting, Genevieve doesn't hold back. A hard-working travel writer on the job 24-7 informing travelers, Genevieve earns silver in the Grand Award category. And the Gold Award winner, the Lowell Thomas Travel Journalist of the Year for 2013 is freelance writer, author, blogger, and documentary filmmaker, Mary Jo McConaughey. The best travel writing entices readers to adventures anywhere, whether from the remoteness of a tropical rainforest or the density of thralling Sao Paulo, Mary Jo does just that. In Gore Vidal's old house, she walks us in the footsteps of novelist Gore Vidal. She describes the old house as anything but typical. It was a crumbling 16th century convent purchased by Vidal in 1946 for $3,000 with a payment from his first novel. With outstanding writing and great travel advice, Mary Jo earns the gold and is the Lowell Thomas Travel Journalist of the Year. Congratulations to Mary Jo McConaughey and all winners in the 2013 Lowell Thomas competition. This competition is underwritten by the Tourist Office for Flanders and Brussels and by Travel Guard Travel Insurance. The SATW Foundation appreciates their contributions and the donations made by so many SATW members in support of its goal to recognize and reward outstanding travel journalism. We invite you to enter and be part of this presentation next year when the SATW Foundation Lowell Thomas Travel Journalism Competition celebrates its 30th anniversary. We extend a special thank you to SATW members who have already pledged to be part of our 30 Partners for 30 Years fundraising campaign. And we encourage others to join in this drive by the end of the year. A celebration is planned for the 2014 SATW Convention in Iceland. We'll see you there.